What is up? Welcome into your daily Buckeye Blitz for Sunday, January 8th, 2023. I have to remember 23 because I'm afraid I'm going to say it wrong. First week of the new year. Um, don't forget YouTube Live tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern. Join us, jump in the chat, give us some questions, comments, whatever you guys are thinking. We're going to have a ton of different topics to go on, and we might even touch on the uh, the CFP championship game with Georgia and TCU. But anyways, today's show, we're going to talk. So I know normally Mondays I do uh, recruiting here. We're going to go back-to-back recruiting shows because – not a lot going on in, in the Buckeye world right now that we haven't already talked about. Tomorrow we'll do our normal recruiting podcast. Today is quarterback recruiting. 2024 quarterback recruiting. What the hell is happening? Everybody shit themselves a couple of weeks ago when Dylan Rayola decommitted. And uh, I don't know. It gave us plenty of time to work with, though. So I'm not I'm not too up in arms over it. Sure, it'd be nice to have the number one player in the class. Obviously, uh, you're never going to turn that down. But at least we got you know about a year to to look maybe a little less to uh, replace him. You know, so who are we looking at here? bunch of bunch of dudes. Basically, it's like starting from scratch. Nothing is off the table. <laughs> Everything is in play, all right? There is no size, no body type, no no uh, quarterback type that is ruled out from this point going forward. So, number one, you know the Buckeyes are going to jump back in and, and try and uh, get back in with Jaden Davis uh, from North Carolina, six foot, 186. He is – does have a lean to Michigan right now. Um, he's got a ton of offers, like uh, 26 offers from everybody. So interesting to see where that goes. He's a five star. Um, his size is a little concerning for me. Six foot is a little short. I just I picture like um, Kyler Murray or Baker Mayfield, you know, guys that can barely see over the line of scrimmage. I'm not a fan of that, but he is a pro style quarterback. So got to open those lanes for him, I guess. Uh, then, so that's, that's one of the recruits that they've already been in contact with, you know, throughout the process. Now they're going to have to reevaluate some guys that are currently committed to other schools. Okay. So let's start with DJ Lagway. He's a dual threat quarterback, 6'3", 225. I like his size. He's, uh, from Texas, verbally committed to Florida, uh, back in uh, early December. So this guy's a high four star, um, I like that he's a dual threat, you know, gives us a little mobility, but what's his arm like? What, you know, how, how is his uh, accuracy? So we know that's, that's a must in Ryan Day's offense, right? Uh, you got to be able to throw those one inch passes, one inch over that net or over the, the outstretched defender. Okay. So does he have a, a good arm, strong arm? And is it accurate? Uh, next guy is uh, Julian Sayan. He is a pro style quarterback from Carlsbad, California. Uh, he's verbally committed to Alabama uh, back in November. So he's a five star, 6'1, 180. So again, a little bit shorter, kind of that. Uh, I, would, I would say he's more like, uh, what's his name? Bryce Young. So, because uh, Bryce is not over 6'1, I guarantee you that. You ever see him and, and CJ standing next to each other at the Heisman? Not even close. And CJ's at least six, CJ's like six, three. So, uh, so Julian's saying they're going to crack, um, crack his phone open. Uh, CJ Carr, we know about him. Uh, son, of, grandson of Lloyd Carr, uh, pro style quarterback, six, three, one eighty, from Michigan, of course, verbally committed to Notre Dame back in June. He's a high five, uh, four star, sorry. And, uh, I like his his height. Height's good. A little lean, but you can always put weight on him. So we'll see if uh, if he has any interest. Uh, who else here? We have Colin Hurley, pro style quarterback, 6'2", 215. So a little weight on this guy. Uh, he's from Trinity Christian Academy in Jacksonville, where um, 
Sean Waits from, uh, co verbally committed to LSU back in early November. He is a high four star. So um, love to uh, have the Wade family reach out to him if they wouldn't, wouldn't mind. 6'2", 215 pro style. Okay. Uh, next, Adrian Posse. He's got a big posse. 6'5", 209. I like this size um, from Miami. Verbally committed to Auburn back in July. They've gone through the coaching change, bringing in that dirtbag Hugh Freeze. So does this guy like this kid? I mean, he's a high four-star. Uh, I don't know what's not to like, but what kind of offense is Hugh Freeze going to run? So uh, let's see if he's interested in, in coming up for a visit. Then we have um, another dude, Elijah Brown, 6'2", 178 out of modern day at uh, Santa Ana, California, Bay Area. He's a pro style. Uh, have a, a lean towards USC, maybe staying home. Uh, he's a high four star, but he has a ton of offers from everybody that's worthy. Um, so I like this kid's size, 6'2", 178 um, pro style. Let, let's uh, let's see what he's got. And he plays at a you know top-notch program in the country, so... Uh, one of the best. Uh, also, other dude, uh, Michael Van Buren, pro style quarterback, 5'11, 177. See, you lost me there, dude. 5'11, pro style. Uh, I don't know. I'll pass. Four star. Um, who else do we have here? Da uh, Davey Belfort, pro style quarterback, six foot 180 from Miami. Um, he has a lean to Va Tech, but has offers from every big school is like 29 offers he's a high four star six foot 180 i like him a little taller like i mentioned but um maybe he'll hit a growing spurt uh this guy's name is awesome <laughs> oh air noland his name first name's prentice i would go by air too if i were him he's a pro style quarterback out of fairburn georgia six three one ninety um have a lean towards Auburn, but again, he has offers from like 26 schools, high four star. Let's, let's get him in there. I like his size, 6'3", 190, and uh, see what his arm is like. Uh, again, Air Nolan, that's not to like. Frankie Weaver out of Maryland, pro style quarterback, 6'4", 180, so good size. Um, has a, a lean towards West Virginia. He's a three star, but uh, let's let's bring him in. You know how uh, he'll get a bump if the Buckeyes uh, get a commitment out of him, uh, up to a four star at least. Um, last guy here is Deuce Adams, pro style quarterback, six two one seventy five, out of Texas. Uh, he has six offers right now. Pretty quiet under the radar. He has offers from Texas, Penn State, and some uh, non power five schools. So free star there as well. Uh, I like his size. So uh, let's, let's, uh, let's see what he's got again. Uh, this is 2024 class. So these guys can, can uh, put on some grow a little bit, put on some weight, you know, in their senior years and, and uh, see what they look like in, in about six to nine months, you know, um, uh, Davey Belfort, by the way, uh, he, re he was a 2025 prospect he reclassified to 2024 uh, just going back to him uh, again like I said this is fully wide open no options are off the table and um, if they have to if the Buckeyes have to they can wait till November to sign somebody so what they did with Justin Fields CJ Stroud Devin Brown Lincoln Kineholes these are you know just examples of how it's worked out well you know so far so no big concerns, but that's where those are the guys on the plate. I'm sure that list will get whittled down here over the coming months. And and so I just wanted to give you guys a list of of who the Buckeyes will be looking for looking at and 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 uh trimming their list down to. So don't forget YouTube 8 p.m. Eastern tonight. Talk to you later. Go Bucks.